Well, President Biden following a long tradition of Democrat presidents promising the sun will power the nation as the White House unveils a plan that many are calling ambitious. They want to generate 45 percent of our electricity from solar from a current 4 percent. Now, the public relations part of the plan has certainly got a lot easier in the last four decades of climate change talk. And warnings, uh, the saber rattling has certainly changed the conversation from back in June of 1979, when then President Carter pledged that 20 percent of the nation's electricity will come from renewables by the year 2000. Now, the year before, President Carter uh, caught a lot of flack for wearing a cardigan sweater in the White House as he lowered the thermostat. He actually called it Sunday. Uh, which is interesting since uh, there uh, is a major push now for Americans to actually cut back on using air conditioners. I want to bring in the CIO for the Bonson Group, David Bonson. And David, you know, uh, Biden uh, not only in making his, uh, his pitch uh, in an era where, you know, we talk about climate change and climate change fear runs deep, particularly amongst young adults. The Democrats also control this, the purse string. So what's going to happen from here? Well, I think at some point there's going to be greater realization from the more sensible people who are very concerned on these issues about natural gas and how underutilized it is from a policy standpoint in driving the desired outcomes. They have gotten carbon emissions down. We are emitting cleaner fuel and they continue to talk about renewables with aspirational goals that are made up out of thin air, Charles. They have absolutely no criteria by which they can get to 45 percent solar. What we know can be done is greater electricity production from natural gas, which is a cleaner fuel than coal. And what we know can be done is continued technological improvement in the way that crude oil is extracted. And so we're on yeah. the right track in so many ways, but I just don't understand why we can't realize that we have to develop environmental policy in the construct of reality and apply economics to the way we do it, that to me screams for more natural gas. So in the meantime, uh, the dirty little secret, pun intended, is that coal has gone through the roof this year. Uh, natural gas also going through the roof this year. But David, you've got efforts in this country to curtail both. I mean, you, know, you think about the, the war on fossil fuels, it encompasses, uh, you know, uh, the fracking industry and encompasses natural gas too. That's right. The war on fracking from the more unreasonable side of the left is leading to throwing all uh, forms of fossil out, treating coal and crude and natty gas all the same. Fact of the matter is the Chinese are not playing that game. And, and so, as you point out, coal is going a lot higher. That's because China is continuing to pay more to get more coal from other sources. So I'd rather continue. We need coal still. Anyone who denies that is not living in reality. I'd rather put our resources into cleaner production of coal, all the while enabling natural gas mm -hmm. to continue being a market leader. All right. Hey, I went over earlier in the show. I, I had some more things I wanted to talk to you about, but we're out of time. But I appreciate uh, you on those things. You're so sensible and you put your money where your mouth is and you've made people a lot of money in these areas. David, thank you very much. Thanks, Charles.